Greetings, playful, energetic, dramatic Leo. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and a tarot card reader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now, I'm going to do the March 2019 tarot and astrology forecast for the sun sign of Leo. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Leos, please do. Also, if you haven't watched the entire 2019 year-long overview for Leo, definitely watch that. I posted those earlier this year. And um, now, uh, I'm cutting out the transits because I'm trying to make the videos less than 10 minutes now. So Leos, if you want the transits back, put it in the comments and, uh, <clears throat> and I'll bring them back for you. But I'm gonna talk about them a little bit today. Right now I'm gonna flip these cards over quickly and I'll tell you all about them. So Leo, at the beginning of the month, we see uh, Leo women are um, feeling very emotional about something. Um, and Leo men, you have a very emotional woman around you. Um, and um, it looks like um, for Leos who have kids, it could be something around uh, the child um, and um, a big change. It looks like Leo women are feeling very emotional about a big change going on with a child in their life possibly. Um, and, um, and for Leo men, you may have a woman very close to you who is feeling very emotional about a big change going on with a child in her life. And um, for Leos where there's not children involved, um, uh, and this change could be around school, it could be something to do with school or uh, educational or some kind of material or practical concern, if not school. Um, and if you don't have children, this could have to do with um, a um, a new a, a business opportunity um, or a, something like that, where there's a big change going on. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like. You know, March for Leo is about you know uh, fate and destiny and the cycles of life. Those are big themes for Leo in March. And, um, and change is, is definitely in the air for Leo in March. And um, what's leaving is the start of a new journey. Um, I think Leo's recently made a new beginning. What could come into being for Leo is new love. Uh, what will come into being, um, Leo men, you're looking super um, action oriented and handling your shit, um, <laughs> excuse my language, uh, towards the middle of the month. Um, for Leo women, it does look like there is um, a very action-oriented man um, coming into the fold for you mid-month. And um, fears or insecurities for Leo have to do with being out of balance um, and, uh, you know, just not having a balance between emotion and reason and that kind of thing. Others see you as not working. So I don't know, maybe around the third week of the month, Leo's may be taking some time off um, and relaxing and not working. Positive feelings. Leo, you seem to have the positive feelings about um, it's a man in your life. He appears to be, um, he could be weak or unstable. He could be domineering. But um, whatever it is, Leo, you seem to have positive feelings about this man. He's the emperor reversed. He could be a father, he could be a husband, he could be a boss, a judge, anything like that. He seems like there's a wobble around him. He's, he's either upset or uh, angry or unstable or something, but you feel you have positive feelings. And then at the end of the month, it looks like Leo is becoming liberated towards the end of March, around the 31st. So. That's the overview, the tarot overview. And then I'm gonna briefly talk about the planets. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes, so I'm not doing transits as much. Um, but if you um, you know, want the transits, put Leo transits in the comment. And um, basically March 1st, Venus enters Aquarius. Venus is about love and creativity. Aquarius is about unconventionality and freedom and independence. So we're having that March 1st until March 26th. Um, very detached and airy Venus. 
Um, March 5th, Mercury goes retrograde. It's our first Mercury retrograde of the year. Mercury retrograde is going to be in Pisces this year. Mercury is naturally ruled by Virgo. Uh, Mercury is the planet of communication. Of course, Virgo is very detail-oriented, which is kind of like what you want with clear communication. When Mercury is in Pisces, things can, can get cloudy, they can get murky, um, details can get lost. So that's the kind of thing that can be happening during Mercury retrograde. And really, wherever Pisces is in your chart is where the Mercury retrograde may affect your personal life. So. Call me for a transit reading if you're interested in seeing how that's going to all pan out. But um, March 6th, Uranus enters Taurus. So whatever section Taurus is in your chart, if you have any personal planets there, you may experience a bit of a shakeup in that area of your life. Um, now, um, March 6th is also the new moon in Pisces. If you follow me, you know that new moons are incredibly rich in fertile soil to plant the seeds of manifestation. And the Pisces new moon is about planting seeds around um, idealism, around vision, around spirituality, around health, around medicine, art, dance, poetry, um, around your feet. Um, these are all things that Pisces rules. March 7th, Jupiter is forming a semi-sextile with Pluto. Um, that's Jupiter and Sagittarius. So anyone who is born anywhere from like 20 degrees to 23, 24 degrees, um, Leo, this is going to be very significant. A powerful person is going to come into your life in this area, wherever this is in your chart. Um, and uh, so call me for a transit reading if you're interested in this. Um, March 20th, the sun enters Aries, so it's Aries season. Definitely wish all your Aries uh, comrades a happy birthday. Leo loves Aries season. It's another um, fire sign season. Um, <clears throat> March 21st is the full moon of Libra. Personally, one of my favorite full moons of the year. The Libra full moon is one of the most romantic full moons of the year, and it's also um, a very creative full moon. <clears throat> And uh, March 24th, Jupiter is forming a quincunx with the North Node. And um, if you want to know, know more about that aspect, definitely contact me for your own personal March transit reading. And um, <clears throat> let's see, March 26th, Venus enters Pisces. And I love when Venus is in Pisces. It's a very dreamy, romantic, artistic, um, creative, um, Venus. Um, and um, let's see, March 28th, Mercury goes direct. And so in general, try not to, if you're going to do contracts or procedures or any of that kind of stuff, do it before March 5th or wait until April. Um, because even though Mercury goes direct March 28th, there's a little lag time before it returns to the degree it was when it went retrograde in the first place. So just wait until April. And, um, and then finally, at the end of the month, month March 31st, um, Mars makes its ingress into Gemini. And when Mars is in Gemini, you know, Mars is our goals. And Gemini can be very scattered and diversified and have lots of interests. So sometimes it's hard to just focus on one thing once Mars enters Gemini. But um, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the reading, please give me a like. If you didn't, give me a don't like. But I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Please share this with other Leos you know. Again, if you didn't watch the 2019 entire year overview for your sign, definitely watch that. Watch the videos for your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you don't know your sun, moon, and rising signs, call me to have your chart done. And thank you. Thank you for joining me, Leo. Have a great day.